the open stance backhand. I'm still a big fan of being able to step in and really transferring your weight from your back leg to your front leg. However, especially when you're advancing in your tennis career and balls are being faster, balls are coming deeper, you do need an open stance backhand. So that's what we're gonna work on in this video. When should you? Can you use an open stance backhand? One opportunity, one instance is when you're being pulled out wide. Sometimes you will simply not have the time to close that stance here, and it's an extra step that you then need for the recovery. So it's easier to just set up here with your outside leg behind the ball. Another time to use it is actually a variation. This is the semi-open stance when you're being pulled back behind the baseline. And I do that quite a lot as a one-hander. I still do favor a lot of times to move back and let the ball drop back into my strike zone. And that is a lot easier if I can absorb the weight on my back leg and then in a more rounder rotation movement, transfer that body weight forward again on my right leg when you don't have time. So for instance, on the return. And if you grew up in the same time as me in the 80s and 90s, you grew up with the Becker blocker. And that was simply just taking the racket back, open stance here and blocking the ball. Depending on how fast the ball is coming, you may have more time or you have no time. So it's much easier to just use the open stance here. I especially use the open stance to return kick serves. If somebody's kicking the ball high to my backhand, if I'm trying to close this, again, no time, and it's so much easier to load and get some lift so that I can control the ball still in my strike zone between shoulder and hip. If you've played tennis for quite a while, you might be surprised how many things have really changed in terms of tactical execution of points. So what I would suggest is that you check out the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app and click there on the new rules of singles for 2023. And let me tell you, there are some things that I was not necessarily as familiar with. So check it out. All you do is just go to the app, scroll through, and you got the new rules of tennis by Fuzzy Yellow balls. I'll put the link down in the description and I'm sure you'll find things about the backhand as well. You'll see me use a drill that I used to do quite a bunch with a weighted ball because it really helps you to get the timing and the spacing and simply just the feel of what it means to get your outside leg, again the leg that is closer to the ball behind the ball, to absorb here and then explode up. So the next step then is you can simply shadow this here and you want to really work on turning your upper body unless it's a return and you really don't even have time for that. Your upper body is exactly working the same way as you would when you have the time to step in. So you have your racket lift, you have your racket drop, but the turn hips, shoulders back. I want to have my chin touching the shoulder depending on how strong you are and or how far you have to move to the ball, you'll create a lot of energy moving laterally. So there will be some energy, your body weight will continue to pull you out wide. And that's when you use the mogul step to absorb that energy, balance, and then use that energy to actually recover. So the mogul step is this. And see, now I'm balanced, I'm low, I'm really stable. Now I can use that to recover back to the middle. So if I wanna work on that and I just don't have anybody here today to help me with that, guess what? I'm gonna shadow swing. Or I use my Topspin Pro. If you decide to drop back on a higher, deeper ball to set up for your semi-open stance, make sure that you pivot for a right-hander on the right foot, bring the left side of your body back. If you need to cover a lot of ground fast, work on a crossover step. Now I can balance here and I can use that energy again to transfer me forward and then recover back forward to the baseline. 
If you like this video and the information in it, go ahead and check out my Patreon membership site because there I'm publishing way more videos, exclusive videos. There's also other perks that you can get for as little as $5 a month. And if you get into the Grand Slam level, you're also joining our monthly live coaching call. So check out my Patreon membership.